What is going on brothers and sisters? Welcome back to Craftopia today. I'm going to show you where to actually find an early game breeding station that you can get right when you start the game. Here we are in Millowind on the map here and we're going to head south of here to this location specifically. I think it's like right here-ish and this is a nice little goblin camp. So I'm a little off. It's actually on the hill right there. You can see from a distance here that there's actually some conveyors over there. And I remember when I was playing, that really caught my attention. I was like, oh, sweet, some free conveyor belts. I'll just go snag those up real fast. There's also a nice copper node right there. But what is really nice about that is there's also a breeding facility. So obviously it's a free breeding facility that you can just pick up and immediately start to use. The best part about it is that Normally, to get your first breeding facility, you have to have a high enough uh, hierarchy level. I can't think of it for the evolution tower in order to to unlock the blueprint for it. But you then also have to trade cabbages to unlock the blueprint. So instead of that, you can just come on over here and well, it's operating. So, you know, you come on over here and just kill the poor cows that are sitting in there and be like, oh, thanks for playing. But I'm sure you're wondering something else about this too. And that's how are there cows in it? And why weren't they completely just dying off? Because normally what happens with breeding facilities is it sucks the life out of the creatures that are inside of it until they die. Well, they were doing that. However, you now see there's two cows just sitting here. This is a cow spawn. So what the game was telling you about was that you can utilize spawn locations for animals because they're static as these two cows here. And you can put breeding facilities on them to further and develop your automation processes. So brothers, sisters, don't sleep on this for too long. Come on down here, grab yourself a free breeding facility use at your house. You can also grab yourself a free hot pot it's cooking right now, so I can't pick it up. But once it's done cooking, you can open it up, take out its contents, and be good to go. But brothers, sisters, if you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button down below. Double check to make sure you're subscribed as well for more Craftopia. And I'll show you how to utilize a breeding facility to its top potential at your house and never have to replenish due to the death of your creatures. But until next time, I hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.